first day of 12 days of Christmas. There's gonna be fresh content for y'all every single day leading up to Christmas Day. I can't believe we're here at that time of year already. Again, it feels like I literally just did 12 days of Christmas for last year, but we're here, we have arrived, and we are kicking off with a good old wash and go. The main star of the show today is this girl right here. Y'all know I've been obsessed with style of my wash and goes with mousse. And I was in Target and I saw this. So this is the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight Gel to Foam Styler. So like, look at it in the bottle. See how it looks like gel? Like it looks jelly, but it's supposed to come out like a foam. Thought that was really interesting. We gotta try it. So we're gonna be using this to style today. And then as we go along, I also want to kind of chit chat about how my hair and scalp changes a little bit, how my routine and the products I use change a little bit when the weather is colder outside as well. So it's gonna be a good old wash and go. Let's just go ahead and jump in. So the hair we're dealing with today, y'all, is my failed roller set hair. When I tell y'all I was pissed, I was pissed. <laughs> I hate a failed um, experiment, but of course it happens. And so this is what we're dealing with today. I am dying to bring my curls back because it's, this has got to go. My hair is also in need of my regular detox. This is almost done actually. I think I'm gonna go ahead and need to repurchase this because I don't wanna live without this. This is the Bread Beauty Mud Mask. You guys have seen me use this before. I also really love to do a detox when I'm using a new product so we can get like a true test of like how this product actually responds with my hair. So, so first things first, I'm gonna wet this situation. So winter hair care routine. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Lena. This video is for you, girl. If y'all didn't know, I opened up a little content request link. The link is in my bio on Instagram. I'll also link it below for y'all in case y'all are interested. So if you guys ever have any specific content requests, you can request it there. It is the easiest way for me to quickly look and see exactly what kind of content y'all want to see. And so I thought it would be really cool that if I did do a video that you requested, I'm gonna shout you out. So hey, girl, Lena, I know you had questions about my hair routine in the colder weather, so we must get into it. So for my hair in particular, it actually flourishes when it's cold outside and I love that for me. I feel like my wash and goes last longer. I don't know if y'all can relate. Let me know in the comments if this is the same for you. Um, but yeah, my hair and my scalp typically are on their best behavior in the winter. So I don't really do too many huge changes but i will say i do approach my hair slightly differently to summer so like i notice in summer my hair or my scalp in particular actually can get really oily sometimes and then therefore itchy gets more buildup and stuff so of course i like to detox a little bit more often and also use more clarifying shampoos more often in the summer because of that in the winter i don't necessarily need to detox or clarify as often Obviously though, I still do like to keep up with my detoxes, especially if I feel like my hair needs it. Really, y'all know my number one like advice for y'all is always to just listen to your hair. Just listen to it. Don't even stress about, oh my God, it's winter, so I need to be using this. No, like listen to your hair and it will tell you exactly what you need. Um, I actually, funny story. When I went home, I stayed in my mom's house for a little bit and she had some old products that I had received in PR back in 2018. I needed to wash my hair, so I used them, but they were, safe to say, super expired. And I noticed my hair has been shedding a lot more. So that's really the main reason why I wanted to do a detox because I don't think my hair enjoyed the expired products that I used. Oh, no. Wow, I just got this all over my robe. Okay, moving right along. So even though I'm detoxing right now and we're talking about my winter hair care routine, I don't actually detox that often. Um, I probably, since I'm detoxing today, we probably actually won't need to detox again for a minute, unless, again, I use more products that my hair just doesn't like. But yeah, I think I would say like, Fall and winter is probably my favorite seasons for my hair because it just flourishes. All right, so this mud mask has been fully applied. I'm gonna let that sit for just about 20 minutes. I am <laughs> such a mess. Um, and then I'll meet you guys back in the shower for us to proceed with the rest of this wash. 
Alright, Detox Mask has been fully rinsed out and everything. Now it's time to just dig into a quick shampoo and conditioner before we get into this gel to foam action that I'm really excited about. I love me a good moisturizing shampoo. So today we're going to be using the Bumble and Bumble moisturizing shampoo. It smells so good and feels amazing in my curls, but still offers that really good, nice clean at the same time. So I'm just applying that in sections as usual to get a full, deep moisturizing cleanse. After that, I'm just gonna follow up with a regular hydrating conditioner. I love this one from Avita. I just did a mask like a couple days ago when I did that roller set, so no need for an actual treatment today. This conditioner is gonna give us exactly all the moisture that we need, which again, moisturizing products, perfect for colder weather. All right, now for the moment that we have all been waiting for. We are about to dig into this gel to foam styler. I will say I have not had much experience with Carol's Daughter products. I have tried maybe one, actually it was a bad experience. I tried their Wash Day Delight shampoo, completely frizzed out like the roots of my hair. It was not a good situation, I was pissed. And this product is part of their Wash Day Delight, but I do have high hopes. I am feeling like this should be a good wash and go. So on the back of it, it says it's their innovative technology that combines the best of both worlds. Hold and definition of a gel with the fast drying time and easy spreadability of a foam. And that's one of the things that I really, really love about styling my hair with a foam. My hair dries so fast. I still have really nice, big, puffy volume, but I still have good curl definition. Um, so I think the standard that we are gonna compare this to is the Dew. You know, that's still the top fave. It is so, it's just so good. It's magic in a bottle. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna compare. I just find it really interesting that like it looks like a gel, like it's not liquidy in the bottle. It's like jelly-like. I'm gonna start by sectioning out my hair. I guess we can call these like medium sections. I do have somewhere to go today, so <laughs> I'm gonna need my hair to dry fast and I need it to have volume. Like I need that day one beauty that I get from the dew. I have noticed that when styling with foams also, like if you need it to have more hold, then your hair should be less wet. Like the less wet your hair is, is the more hold you're gonna get out of your foam, but I like a little like midway balance because I like for it to dry fast. Obviously if there's more holds, it's gonna take longer to dry. So I'm gonna do like midway wet and then apply this and we'll see how it goes. Let's do the first pump together. Look, it is actually coming out like straight foam. Ooh, also smells interesting. It is like rose, you can see from the packaging, but it's funny because I used to love rose scented things until somebody pointed out to me that it smells like a grandma scent and now I can't unsmell that. So every time I smell rose, I'm like, oh, it's giving grandma. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Off the bat, I'm getting a similar experience to the dew. I am because when you, as soon as you rake it through your curls, you can feel your curls like getting into formation and that's literally what's happening right now. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. But it does feel foamy. It doesn't feel too heavy or anything. Oh my gosh, this might be amazing. I am also noticing that a little bit goes a long way, which is good. I like a product that can kind of stretch. First, look at the curls. They look really nice and defined. The foam is in there. And so far, it's going really well. I'm very happy, especially after my roller set failed. <laughs> I'd be so mad. All right, we are all done. This is how we're looking. Oh my gosh, it's so weird to feel my hair touching right here. It's growing. Um, but this is how much I use, y'all. From right here to here is all I used for a full wash and go styling for my full head of hair, which is great. I actually really like the fact that this packaging is clear. The dew packaging is not clear, so you never have an idea of how much you actually have left unless you're like just checking from holding it. Um, but I really like that because I can visually see, okay, exactly when I need to like restock if I want to. Yeah, so far it feels good. I'm a little bit nervous about the hold because I feel like the, the curl definition is pumped up. It looks great right now. But I don't know, just feeling it right now, I'm not sure how much hold we're actually gonna get, but we're never gonna know until we have her fully dry and that's when we'll be able to see like final results and final thoughts. So I'm gonna hop out of here and go ahead and diffuse. Okay, I literally just diffused for about 15 minutes and we're here. So it's definitely quick drying like, 
obviously. I mean, I'm probably about 95% dry, but the thing is I, I noticed that there is zero crunch. We have curl definition, which is really, really great, but I'm not sure how long it's gonna last because there's zero crunch, not even a little bit. The Dew definitely has more hold than this gel. The curls look good, they're super defined. They're not as shiny as I typically like. Uh, so those would be the only two things. Not a huge amount of holds and it's not as shiny as I would typically like. So far it's giving like a minus energy. Um, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put on a little bit of light makeup, give it a couple more hours and then be back to share my final results. We may also need to wait until day two to get a better idea of the holes, but we'll see. I am noticing like a little bit of frizz here at the top, which is of course, like I, I could tell just because we didn't have the crunch. I don't know, at this stage, I kind of feel like, I don't hate it, but I don't like love it. Like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I think the biggest thing we got from this mousse is the curl definition, which is beautiful but without hold, like how long is that gonna last? So I think what we'll do, we'll do a day two check-in so we can just see what it looks like and then have like a final conclusion tomorrow. Okay, this is how we're looking for day two, y'all. I just knew it. I knew this wasn't going to hold anything because I didn't feel any hold in my curls yesterday. So here's how we're looking. I will say I did go to the gym today. I sit in the dry sauna for a little bit when I go to the gym. Um, it was like misting outside a little bit, so I'll give it that, um, but it's still, it's still not okay. <laughs> I'm not opposed to actually trying this again, maybe on drier hair to see if we get additional hold that way, but yeah, I don't think I would use this again if I knew it was just gonna turn out like this again. You know what I mean? I will say, to be fair, it literally says all of this on the back. It does say that there's not gonna be a crunch. It's a natural looking hold, no added weight or stiffness or crunch. You know what it is for me? It's me having a failed roller set and then a wash day right after that only lasted me one day. Oh, and by the way, the smell does actually stay in your hair. You know, some products like smell really good, but it doesn't really stay in your hair. I literally smelled it at the gym and it was okay. It was okay. It's like not my favorite scent, but not my least favorite either. So I don't know, but if you smell it and you don't like it, then you're going to hate the fact that your hair is going to smell like that until you wash it again. I started rating my wash days on Instagram, so we might as well just start rating them on here. Out of 10 for this specific styling product, I, I, whew, I don't know. I think I'm going to give it a four or five. It did feel good in my curls. My curls definition was popping. It just was not any hold, which meant it didn't last this past day too. So that's gonna be that. Let me know in the comments if y'all agree with my rating. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your first day of 12 days of Lismas. I will catch y'all tomorrow for day two.